Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. This is the Gaming Casual. In the previous episode, you watched me get through uh, Gobi's Valley. And in this one, we are going through, I think it's called Monster Mansion or something like that. And so we just gotta go to the picture, put in the puzzle pieces, and uh, get to the level so we can complete it. Hopefully you'll be watching this on Halloween, since this is kind of like a spooky Halloween inspired level, I guess. I was able to um, get it done. So it's well-timed, I guess. I can, uh, you know, get through it without too much issues. That'd be great. Mad Monster Mansion is the name. So I was almost close. And over here, there's going to be a Mambo token. I'm going to grab that. And let's head back that way. We have to go back into the um, the doorway where we found the Gobi Valley's portrait. So, I'm just going to head back that way. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Sometimes, like, just getting to the level can take quite a bit of time and uh, sometimes it's hard to wait for that kind of stuff. You just want to get right into the action of the level. But I kind of have to show you how to go about getting to that point, so otherwise you'll be missing out on some good advice. Ooh. I didn't even read what she had to say. Probably nothing important. Just trying to intimidate me to leave or make in front of me. It would be cool if, uh, you know, Kazooie could uh, give some sarcastic retorts to her. Um, oops, shoot. <laughs> yeah, it'd be funny to get um, Kazooie to give her some like sarcastic retorts to what she says. I'm not sure if you can actually, if Banjo's actually able to hear what she says, if that's like on an intercom, or if that's just like Gruntilla's inner monologue as she is spying on us getting through this area. It's hard to say. I died really briefly there. Luckily I wasn't in the level. I don't know how that happened. I was like not paying attention, I guess. I want to open up this door back here because when we come out of here, we're going to want this uh, to be open. And here's the entrance. It's inside of this uh, spooky grave yard. And let's get right to it now. Oh shoot, just missed that note. Can I grab the note without any issues? There's uh, all kinds of spooky creatures in this level. Bats, skeletons, ghosts. So, all the creatures of the night make their appearance here. Let's go down in the cellar way, because there's a jiggy down here. These two guests are rather dumb. I'll make sure they're unwelcome. Nice. Inside these uh, vine kegs from 1881, I guess. I don't know if that's a good year. <laughs> First jiggy of the level. Already making some pretty good progress, and you can hear the sound of a crying Jinjo in one of these kegs. We'll let them free momentarily, but 
Let's make sure we don't miss any out in any of these notes. Are you in here? No. Are you in here this? Hello. Pink one. And I guess you can't open this one. Or anything. It's kind of odd. You can open all the other ones except for that one. Whoa, you came out of nowhere, didn't you? Stupid bat. Didn't want didn't want to get touched by that thing. There's a couple different areas in this level. It's like divided into sections. Pretty good. And you don't need to learn, worry about learning any new moves or anything since we have all the moves that we need to uh, complete these levels. All you have to do is explore the world and get your jiggies. And be mindful of these uh, skeleton poop slug versions. You can't get that yet. You need to be a pumpkin. In this level, you get turned into a, a jack-o'-lantern or a pumpkin. By Mumbo. To add to the, you know, the Halloween spirit. Don't touch me. Oh, I bounced right off his head. Can I get in that dough? <clears throat> Oops. Let's kill it around too much. Use the invincibility feathers to, uh, I forget the name of it, the move, but use the invincibility feathers to, uh, kill the skeletons and the ghosts. Don't touch me. Dang it. I just wanted to kill that bat. We, we want to get to the top of this, uh, building here. Dang it. I don't really need to kill it, <laughs> but I want to kill it. So it's just not in the way anymore. Dang it. This level can be kind of frustrating, just like any other banjo level. I, uh, watched a f speed run. It was like 13 minutes it took him to beat this level. Maybe a little faster. I was like, well, it looks like, you know, when you watch it done on a speed run, it looks easy, but when you're actually trying to do it, it's harder. Can I climb this? Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was too to climb. All right, let's get back up onto the top of this mansion. Where am I missing those notes? I know there's a couple of notes up here. I don't want to fall down again. I really don't. So let's be delicate. Jump up to the stove for the chimney. I we it's kind of weird because I jumped in through the middle of, of the building, but somehow the the chimney leads me to the end of it. Rundy's gold. Yeah, I took your gold, stupid ghost. He just runs off. Now I kind of find it weird because that ghost is kind of big, right? In this, you know, chair and the table is like kind of like the size of a big person. Maybe a giant. But the doors and the windows, I don't think a giant could get in here. You know, maybe. I mean, it is kind of big, kind of a big door, but it's not anywhere near to scale with the furniture. So, 
What kind of people would live inside this house? Something that could squeeze in small spaces. No way is it, you know, a giant. But I don't know. Maybe it's just made for the ghosts. Gotta poop inside of these, uh, pots. Pooping them. You gotta poop an egg. Wait, and once you get them all filled up, you can have a, another jiggy. Take that. No, I just went back into it. Sorry. I just picked it right back up. Okay. Okay, good. That voice is kind of creepy. If you're not prepared for it, it can really throw you off. Ah, dang it. I think when I was younger, <laughs> when I heard that voice, I always thought it said like, F you. For some reason. I don't know, maybe that was just the poor, um, like, maybe the sound from the 64 was badly making the, the voice. I don't know. But I, I did think it said F you, not thank you. Or like something to that effect. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta clear my throat there. Three jiggies, making some good progress. There's another jiggy at the top of this, uh, I guess you'd call it a church. It has the stained glass windows, so maybe a, a cathedral, a chapel, I don't know. And you want to get all the notes on the top of this uh, roof? One thing I don't like is if you leave the talent trot, you will just slip down the roof. So, kind of have to stay in this position for a little bit. Oh, please don't. Camera angles are going all over the place. Just walk very delicately. There we go. Sweet. Not too shabby. I'm trying not to, like, give it too much gusto and jump off the, uh, ledge there. Yeah. Another jiggy. Do your jiggy dance. Get jiggy with it. Yeah. Okay, where, I, where should I go now? Probably go down in that maze. Whoa, almost. I thought I was gonna get hurt there for a second. There are ghosts that hide inside of this maze, so be careful. And apparently, there's notes that you wanna grab too, so definitely don't wanna leave those behind. I don't think I need any health. Nope. Didn't. Whoa. I just wanna kill this guy, because. He will chase you down and kill you, and he can go in and out of these bushes, and you can't, so... It's kind of cheating. At least... for me. I don't want him to have that kind of advantage, so I might as well just kill him. So he... I don't know how you kill a ghost exactly, though. You'd think that... <laughs> you think that they'd be dead already? I guess the power of the golden uh, feathers can kill even the dead. Or at least protect you from it. Usually it's silver that does that, but... Who am I to complain? I don't have silver feathers. I have gold ones. It'd be cool if... Uh, 
when you use the gold feathers. If uh, Kazooie's feathers turn gold for that moment instead of just sparkling. Like a Super Saiyan Kazooie. I don't know. I think there's another Jiggy over here, or at least uh, Jinjo. <clears throat> Yeah, there's that blue Jinjo there. Let's save him, shall we? Mm, other utter destruction. This is a timed event here. You have to run all the way to that uh, cathedral and get inside the door. You gotta use these boots or these shoes. And it can be kind of tight. Not nearly as tight of a race as the thing in Gobi's Valley, but still pretty tight. Especially if you don't know where you're trying to go. I just barely made that. I had like one second to spare. Just die. Got ya. And look at this cathedral. The the pews are huge, but the door is tiny. Now the ghosts can go through the walls, so if this was made just for the ghosts, they wouldn't need the doors. Unless Gruntilda likes to come and visit every now and then, which I suppose she would. Which is probably why the doors are wide enough to fit her fat butt. But, I don't know. It's kind of like a, maybe architectural flaw. Or maybe they just like, <laughs> got oversized furniture. You know. You would have to have built the furniture inside of the inside of the cathedral. There's no way you're going to fit it through the door. Maybe they went to like Ikea or something and got big ass furniture <laughs> and set it to get put it up and they're like, wait, this is way too big. They didn't want to take it back down. I don't know. I'm just talking. <laughs> what do you have to say? Moat's hand? <laughs> plays with his organ with ease, but can you follow him on the keys? I don't really want to watch you play with your organ, <laughs> Mr. Hand. You know, I think that's something you should do in private of your own home. Not in front of me. I mean, I don't think I'm barely old enough to see that kind of stuff. Ghost hand. Not bad, bear, but now watch me copy this tune and amazed I'll be. Okay, just lay it on me. I think you get damage if you hit the wrong key. So I don't want to do that. He's pretty good at this organ thing. One-handed. You know, and he's a ghost. It's like Patrick Swayze all over again. There's the Everly Brothers singing their song in the background. I forget the name of the song. If you've seen that movie Ghost, you know what I'm talking about. Your music skills are mighty fine, so take this golden piece of mine. Oh, he rhymes just like Gruntilda. This must be... Maybe this is Gruntilda's, uh... Family, like... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Crypt? Because that hand is, uh... Rhyming. Maybe this is where, uh... 
friend Tyler goes for sermons. Alright. Don't want to forget this note. That note too. Wanna, we do want to get up here on this uh, flight pad. Is there are secrets above us that you do not want to miss out on. Or maybe you do. I definitely don't. I didn't think I was going to hit that thing. Oh yeah, there's a jiggy that pops up, appears in that eye. I forgot about that. So we're going to have to climb up there eventually and get that jiggy. Maybe I should just go down and get the flight pad again instead of trying to cross this very slowly. Can I get across without falling? I hope so. I, I think that guy's going to give me some trouble. Yes, made it. Oh, don't touch me. I don't really need to kill him. I want this health. Maybe I can get this gold feather before we head back. If you fall too... Ooh. You can... I think if you fall too high, you will take a lot more damage. So you don't want to, like, take a lot of fall damage. I think you could die in one hit. Or one good fall. So... Saw these notes over here, so I want to grab those. What's over here? Oh. Oh no, I almost got hit by the thing. You're not going to get me, Mr. Skeleton. Can I get up there? Kill this guy. Well, that skeleton looked bigger than this one. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, I guess. Dang it. Well, I just hit that. Alright, let's jump up. Darn it. You need to, um, like, do the town trot, like, as soon as you get up here. If you can. There we go. I guess the key is to at least put your feet on the, the roof before you try to do the Talon Trot. The Talon Trot sounds like a dance move. <clears throat> Look at these notes so they're not distracting me. This is kind of like a... Kind of like the Sandcastle. You have to spell out Banjo-Kazooie in a time limit. In a time limit. Kind of looks like a spirit board, or like maybe more commonly known as a Ouija board. Pretty spooky. Would not want to mess with that. Banjo. If you touch the red uh, witch. Faces, you will get damage, so don't do that. There's an A down here. And that ghost obviously will do damage to you. To you. I need to touch the Z. Might be an easier, like a better way to go about doing this. Oh well, I think I'm doing fine. Should have plenty of time to get all the letters. Unless I flub it really bad. Alas, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing. I'm leaving this gloomy shed. Gloomy shed? I mean, it looks kind of nice in here. I mean... Grintilla must be obsessed. She has a shrine, pretty much. With my face on the ground. And I have to spell my name just to get a, like, a jiggy. I mean... 
That's not like obsessive. I don't know what it is. Let's open that up. I mean, I thought I was her enemy, and you're using my name as a password to get a jiggy. How unsecure is that? It's like worse than putting your password as password. I'm trying to think where I need to go next. How many of the... I think... I think I might have all the... Jiggies I can get... In this form. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> Having trouble remembering. Let's just go in here real quick. Hey, Mumbo. I have a favor to ask. Thank you, Mumbo. Ah, Mumbo proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. No. I don't need to make soup. I do like to eat pumpkin seeds, though. Cook, cook them. Roast them. I made some in my air fryer. I've been making a lot of stuff in my air fryer. Those things are awesome. Oh, buddy. I just want to get... Aha. I just want to get in here. I think there's a mumbo token in here. There it is. I also have been making like dried chickpeas or roasted chickpeas <laughs> in my air fryer. Only thing about the dried chickpeas is they do give you bad gas, so I wouldn't recommend eating them if you don't want to have bad gas. A little TMI, but it's true. They're pretty good for you. If you can make them. Got that little thing. Gotta go down in the toilet. I'm in the dumps now. My face is flushed. So, I'm missing a Jinjo, right? Yes, a yellow Jinjo. You can't attack anything in this form, so you gotta be careful. Oh, dang it, I wanted it to be up there still. Shoot. Don't touch me. I will get back up there. bat wanted to kill me. The bat reminds me of uh, the opening to Scooby-Doo when the bats start squeaking. Might be even the same sound effect. Just some stock bat sound effect. We want to go over here down this drain pipe, the gutter. Get your head out of the gutter. Need quite a bit more jig or notes. Hopefully I don't get too lost in finding them. Then you go this way. No, this is the maze. It'd be more Halloween-ish if it was a corn maze, maybe. It'd be a maze inside of the maze. Inside of the maze. What do you got for me? No, not in there. Oh yeah, it's down this way. Good thing I opened up this uh, 
door here. Didn't have to use those, I don't think. 78. This brings me up to 80. Alright, wherever this uh, takes me, <clears throat> I don't think there's going to be enough uh, notes in here. I definitely don't want to die collecting these notes. So. Is that a Jiggy or a Jinjo? I'm not hearing a Jinjo. Dang it. Ouch. Oh, there's a jing there's a jiggy in here though. <laughs> Crazy. I think that's all the notes. I think I know where I missed. What I missed. I need to go back to Mumbo though. How many jiggies you got? Or how many notes I got? Eighty-seven. I'm going to head back to Mumbo real quick and turn back into uh, Banjo. Unfortunately, I'll have to turn back into this pumpkin before I leave this level. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Where am I? Okay, here's Mumbo's house. Mumbo, I'm back. Turn me back into a bear. We need to get... There's a window that I didn't go into. Because <clears throat> the only Jiggy we're missing is... Um, the one from getting the Jinjos. And the Jinjo, I think, is hiding in the... Uh, the bedroom upstairs of this mansion. I meant to go into the window, I just didn't. And hopefully that's where the rest of our notes are hiding out as well. Dang it. Gosh dang it. Shouldn't be this big of a problem. Jump up. Go into the talent trot. Very well. Oh. Just want to go up here. Without falling down again. Up here? Yeah. Sweet. Get the yellow Jinjo for the yellow Jiggy. Now we're just looking for the rest of the notes. Then we can get out of here. I don't think I can anything in there. Just die. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Didn't see that when I came in. <clears throat> and there's one on the other side too. Oh, I'm trying to try to I'm trying to remember if I got all the notes inside of the the house. I can't believe I missed that again. Come on, just get up there. What am I getting? What am I getting stuck on? I don't like this level. Spooky invisible walls you're getting stuck on.
Please be all. Let there be all the notes in here. Whoa. Should be just one more. Yeah. I was afraid I was wasn't gonna be able to find it. All right. Probably won't have time to get the uh, the jiggy that we unlocked on the outside of this level. So let's go just turn back into a pumpkin and get on out of here. And we'll do some little side quests in the next episode. Probably be doing more of the bottles, bonuses, and things like that. I like doing that in the last episode. The last episode I did that because I want to unlock all that stuff too and show you it. Especially since it's been a while since I've seen them. So, just to refresh what they do. I might actually play with one of those bonuses active once I have them all unlocked. I might ask you guys which one you'd like to see me play it in. Well, that should do it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, push the like button if you have something to say. Leave a comment. This has been the Game Casual, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day.